Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the review with you. Uh, note the exception. We're not going to do eight, but I'm going to do I'm going to do five, six, and seven on this page. Uh, number five, it says a transformation maps Z O W E until unto L F M A. Does a transformation appear to be a rigid transformation? And I would say no, it's not a rigid transformation. Uh, the pre-image and the image are a different size and different shape. So by it being a different size, it looks like it's an enlargement. It would not be a rigid transformation. 5B, what is the image of line segment ZE? So ZE is considered the pre-image. So segment LA is the image. Uh, the next question says, what is the pre-image of M? And we know that the pre-image is point W. 6 I went ahead and drew the pre-image triangle RST. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to do the transformation, which at first I saw it wrong. So the transformation is negative four. That means it's going to go four units to the left and then it's going to go up seven units. So like for example, T is going to go over four. So it's one, two, three, four. It goes out of the graph and it's going to go up uh, seven, uh, eight units, which is going to be seven, negative four, seven. So I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this. So it's going to be around here roughly. So that's T prime. Uh, let me go to make a different color. T prime. Uh, we have S prime, which is negative six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's S prime. And then R prime is going to be negative four, um, and we say it's going to be a negative three. So it's going to be one, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and stop. So just to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. So we're going to make a correction on R. It's going to be negative four, one, two, three. So it's right here. So that's going to be R prime. So I connect these two points, connect this point and connect this point. So what happened to our pre-image? It shifted four units to the left and seven units up. And uh, here is the rule for number six. Number seven, it was asking for us to write a rule. And so I did write a rule. We have T, which stands for transformation. Uh, we're gonna move five units to the left. So it's five minus five and then 10 units up. P stands for the pre-image and P prime stands for the image. So there it goes. Given points A, which is six, four, B, which is negative 2, 1, and 5, 0. Graph, triangle ABC, and each reflection. So R stands for reflection over the x-axis, triangle ABC. And I went ahead and did that right here. And so for number 9, it's going to be a reflection over the x-axis. And this right here is your image, triangle ABC. So it's the x-axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, the line of reflection. You notice that C will stay there. So that C is going to, is actually on the line of reflection. So that's going to stay there. A prime is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's A prime. B prime, we have one, so it goes down to one. So that's B prime. And so we're going to go ahead and connect uh, our two triangle, our two, our three points. And so this is the image, and there's a pre-image. And one thing I did ask you to notice was that when you, when you cross or you reflect over the x-axis, the y values are the ones that are going to change. Right? That's what we discuss. Okay. Number ten, it says uh, you want to find the reflection. You want to find the reflection of the image over the line x equals 4. And we have triangle ABC. So we're going to have to do a vertical line. I'm going to go ahead and draw that vertical line. I'm going to make it a different color. I'll make it dark green. So we have x equal 4. So here's x equal 4. Here's the line of reflection. And yes, if we had to make a prediction, we know that A prime will be over, I mean, triangle ABC, the pre-image will be overlapping somehow. 
So we're going to go ahead and do A prime. It's going to be perpendicular to the line of reflection. There's A prime. B, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's B prime. And then C, this right here, so that's C prime. So yeah, the two images overlap. So in this example, we are going to reflect over the y equals x. And of course, our pre-image is still triangle ABC. I showed you how to do this in class. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, if we're going to reflect A over Y equals X, then what you do is you, you're going to go ahead and go up until you meet the line. So you're going to go up two units, and then you're going to go to the right, two units. So that's A prime. So what you're actually doing with X and Y, you're just uh, kind of switching them. So we have 5, 0, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's right here. You see how we switched the 5 and the 0, so that's C prime. And then B, uh, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's right here. So it's going to be, this one was uh, negative 2, 2. So it's 2, negative 2. That's right, B prime. And so there is our reflection over y equals x. There's a reflection of y, y over y equals x. It says copy the diagram, then draw r reflection over the y-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a darker color. So I know that's the mirror. So there's a mirror. Now you notice that h is going to stay there. h doesn't go anywhere. So we're going to reflect b, g, h, t. That's the, that's the uh, that is the uh, pre-image. So B is going to be uh, 1, 2. So this is B prime. Uh, T is going to be right here. So that's T prime. And that's one unit to the right. And G was 1, 2, 3. Three units to the right. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3. Uh, three units to the left. That's G. And this is H. So there's our image. And there's our reflection. What are the coordinates of... R is a uh, rotation 180 degrees about the origin. So what I'm going to do is I don't have to graph it. I'm just going to say R 180 degrees about the origin. And we're talking about point negative 4, 1, right? So I know that um, when I rotated, when I rotated 90 degrees, this will be negative 1, negative 4. Once I rotate it again, let me let me do the correct notation. When I rotate it, negative uh, four one, if that's going to be negative one negative four. When I rotate it again, it's going to be one. It's going to be when I rotate it again, it's going to be four negative one. So that's going to be the answer four negative one. And I think uh, the pattern that we realized for the rule was a negative x, negative y.